gonna be one of those days. Nine o'clock. Hey guys, welcome out to the range. I was asked recently by a viewer on YouTube and also by a student here at the range. Uh, the person had said, I'm thinking about getting my NRA instructor certification. And I said, stop. I, I preface this question by saying this. It is always done in a spirit of humility and respect when I, when I challenge this. What is it that you feel that the NRA has in the, in the realm of governance? over firearms instruction that you should go seek their, their certification. Do you understand what I'm getting at? Another way to put it is this. Why would you go get your Glock armor certification? Well, because there is only one Glock, right? So yes, you would go get your Glock armors certification. Well, many years ago when I started offering AR-15s, people said, uh, a couple guys actually said, well, are you AR-15 armor certified? And I said, no, nor will I ever be. And the guy got all puffed up and I said, oh, hang on a minute. I said, how many AR-15s are, are out there? He says, and he goes, well, that's beside the point. I go, no, 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 that is the point. How many AR-15 brands are there? Dozens of them. Who's the governing body over the AR-15? Because remember, an AR-15 is an AR-15 is an AR-15, but there's only one Glock. That's why I went and got my Glock armor, because I needed to know everything there was to know about Glock. But when it comes to AR-15, sorry, I've taught myself how to build those weapons. They're easy. So what I say to you is, when it comes to firearms instruction, who is the governing body over firearms instruction? Is that the NRA? Even though they tell us they're the governing body over firearms instruction, people who, what amazes me is people who mock the NRA for their charlatanism, and they've really embarrassed themselves, still, are, still go and seek NRA certification. Why? Because that's what everybody does. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Guys, that's herd mentality. Don't go seeking your certification from the NRA. They have no authority to give it to you. What I say to, to students that ask me this question, and what I'm going to say to you now is, go take six or eight classes. That's all you got to do. Seriously, listen to what I'm saying. In fact, let me move this way because I'm in the sun. Go and take six or eight classes. I get way too much sun exposure, guys, which is why I've moved. Go out and seek classes from varied instructors in various, seriously? Various instructors in various disciplines. Gain that knowledge, distill that knowledge. Look, great example. I'm very open about a lot of what I do comes from Dave Spaulding and Ken Hackathorn. Um, those two men I've learned so much from. And my, my tr I have 63 classes under my belt, 6'3". By the time I got 50-something classes into my time as a student, I, I imagine that, that my classes are bands of knowledge laid out. But some of those bands of knowledge had notches missing in them. Lanes, you know, lanes of knowledge. And when I went to train with, Ken, uh, with Dave Spaulding, because I trained with him first, he filled in a bunch of those missing notches. And then Ken Hackathorn filled in a bunch of those missing no notches and he, and, he, and he layered over some of the stuff that Dave was doing, meaning adding to. And I started to get this broader picture. And with all reality, when I went to train with Dave Spaulding, that was the first time that I went, wait a minute, I need to be offering training. Because it was at that point that I realized the stuff he's teaching is so far out there in knowledge level, yeah, meaning it's, it's so far above anybody else, that I would be on the line shooting beside, a, beside another student and, I'd, and I would watch the person in my periphery make a mistake. And then Dave would say, cease fire, recover to the holster. And I'd recover to the holster. And then Dave would come over and he'd be like, hey man, are you okay? You know, uh, hey, if you do this, that, or the other, you're gonna be da 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 da. And then we'd start doing it again and the person wouldn't make the same mistake. But that time Dave was over there and he'd watched him and he caught it. And he'd say, recover to the holster, I'd recover. And I would stand there and I would listen, because I made it a point not to stare at people, because it's disrespectful, not to mention I'm wearing a camera. And I don't want people to think that I'm recording them. And so I would listen and I would watch Dave out of the peripheral 
periphery of my vision and I would say to myself, I know what he's about to say to fix the problem and he'd do it. And I'd go, man, I think I've actually reached a point where I, I think I'm actually capable of teaching this stuff. Guys, you gotta understand something. There are two types of people in this industry. People who are bold and brash and say, yeah, I got this. And then there are people like me who go, do I have enough knowledge to be teaching? It took me forever to realize, yeah, I do have enough knowledge to be teaching, which is why 63 classes into it now, two Sundays ago was the first time that I actually finally had paid students coming out here and uh, training with me. Now, mind you, I have trained stacks of people over the years, family, friends, friends of friends, um, I've been invited to shoots where I ended up, hey, listen, could you kind of give us some pointers? Be happy to. You think I like doing it for free? No. But like a friend of mine said years ago, dude, you're literally going to have to give it away for free or cheap to get off the ground. I'm cool with that. That's why this channel is, is not monetized. I say this to you, um, and I, I need to move quickly because this video is going to get way too long. Um, when I started offering training, I had people giving me grief about, well, if you're, if you're teaching Dave Spaulding's curriculum, are you, are you handgun combative certified? Because last year, Dave Spaulding offered the handgun combative certification class, uh, instructor certification. And funny thing was, I wanted so badly to go to this that my wife had actually kept track of the date. So the date was coming up in about a week. She goes, hey, are you going to the class? And I go, what? You're watching my calendar? She goes, oh, honey, you've been looking forward to this forever. David called me up and he says, hey, you coming out to the class? And I said, Dave, I want to, but I don't have the money. See, Dave is a media guy like me. He started out in media. And he understands that when you have media people come out to train with you, you respect them. And you say, come on out. It's on me. All I ask of you is please respect me as instructor and let me see all media before you release it. I got no problem with that whatsoever. Respect flows both ways, right? Dave and I know each other, we respect each other. And let me tell you what, Dave and I have disagreed on things, but we've disagreed respectfully. So he called me and said, hey, you wanna come up to the class? I said, I'd love to, but I don't have the money. And I'm not asking for a freebie on this one because I don't wanna be running cameras. I wanna be there working my butt off. And I always do, I wanna be clear. I always do as a student, but guys, you don't understand. What I do as a student when I go to a class is double duty to what you're doing because while you're relaxing, see, you do your run and then you sit and you relax. I do my run and then I videotape the next team. And then I do my run and then I videotape the next team, which means I'm running, 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 running. And at the end of the day, I'm shredded because I'm doing double duty. I wanted to be able to go to this class and just focus on being the best student that I could be. But I couldn't afford, financially couldn't afford to go to the class. I tell you this, deep from my soul. I miss not having gone to the class. And yet I'm kind of glad that I didn't go. And here's why. I'm not teaching handgun combatives curriculum. I'm teaching handgun combatives elements. There's a difference. Because what you're actually seeing here is handgun combatives, Ken Hackathorn, Bill Rogers, which is Rogers range. Uh, that's the steel element of things. So I'm kind of taking a hybrid. I, I teach a hybrid of everything I've ever been exposed to. And that's what I say to you now. That's why I say to you, don't go looking to the NRA or any other certifying body to certify you to teach firearms. Go to training and get exposed to several different types of styles and techniques and disciplines and start forming your own thing. Guys, write everything down. Remember, not every instructor is gonna be cool with you pointing a camera at them, but they should be cool with you writing things down. And if they're not cool with you writing things down, then to hell with them because that's disrespectful to you as a student. Wait, so you're telling me that you're okay with me paying you money, but you're not cool with me writing things down? Then the dude's a joke. And, guy, and guys, I could give you names of people who ball people out for doing that. Oh yeah, they're, they're stealing my curriculum. Your curriculum? Did you invent tinfoil? Did you invent the wheel? Guys, it's not your curriculum. You are picking up knowledge. By the way, you picked up knowledge when you went and did your little NRA certification. You picked up knowledge that they picked up from other people and they sold to you to make you feel like you're certified to teach. Can you tell this, this kind of gets me a little bit hot under the collar. The fact of the matter is guys, knowledge that is hoarded is knowledge that is wasted, which is why I and any, any other instructor that is worth their salt will say to you, write it down, take it with you, take it back to your friends and family, spread the knowledge. Guys, we need knowledge to be spread about self-defense. I say this to you boldly, and yet I say it to you humbly. I'm begging of you, 
do not go looking for your certification from the NRA. They're a joke. They're going to rip you off, they're going to take your money, and they're going to give you a piece of paper that is probably good for maybe toilet paper. Guys, it's worthless. Go seek training. And, and let me tell you this. And when I say to people, when I said to the student, um, go seek training, I didn't put myself at the top of that list. I put Tactical Defense Institute, Valor Ridge, Dave Spaulding. I named off a bunch of different people, and then I finally said, and then Tier 1 Citizen. I was like, you know, number six in that line. Because I know that there are people who have been doing this a lot longer than I have. They may not have... I've been a student way more than I've been an instructor. And by the way, there's a key to that, which is why everything I do is very student-centric. Um, I've been a student far more than I've been an instructor, but I make sure that people understand that I don't think that I'm the bee's knees. Now, what I will say to those of you that are like in the Chattanooga area, guys, get out here, because my price points are very low, and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pique your interest for more training, and then I'm going to say, go here, go here, go here, go here. Go spend your money with other people. And, get, and guess what, guys? There are training facilities that are still up and running right now in the midst of this pandemic. Oh, I'm sorry, pandemic. It's pandemic. Okay. Please do not go looking for your certification, your authority from the NRA. They have no authority to be giving you, to be selling you. It's their joke. You don't need it. So, guys, that's what I got for you. Um, uh, like I said, I'm trying to keep this video short, but I want to answer questions honestly and, uh, and in a manner that people can understand that my biggest thing is, guys, don't throw your money away. The NRA is a joke. Don't throw your money away. Go seek training with instructors that are going to give you knowledge that you can take back and hone and turn into wisdom. Um, that's what I got. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.